The Mercenary is one of the strongest starter classes I've played thus far in Path of Exile 2, but it requires careful planning in terms of using the right skills and right support gems at different stages even within just level 1 to 20. A lot of people aren't going to be doing that so they'll feel stuck and feeling weak at various stages. Well, no longer. Today I'm bringing you my Grenadier Mercenary build that excels at dealing huge amounts of damage across the entire battlefield. Not only that, but we also have skills incorporated into this build that make it a more monster at bossing as well, so you'll fly through the first couple of acts with ease. There will be a planner link down in the comments or description below. The aim of the Grenadier is pretty simple, it's to flood the battlefield with different types of grenades. We use Explosive Grenade, Flash Grenade, Gas Grenade in the first 20 levels, and we can scale it using support gems such as Scatter Shot and passive nodes such as Cluster Bombs so we can flood the battlefield with them. So when you first start off as a mercenary you'll have the basic Bolt skill, and you'll get a skill gem for Armor Fragmentation Rounds, which kind of functions like a shotgun. PoE 2 throws a ton of enemies at you very quickly in the game, and it became apparent to me early on that using Cold Damage was a powerful way of dealing with them. Cold Damage applies both Chill and Freeze to enemies which are powerful forms of CC. So the first skill gem you want to unlock is Permafrost Bolts which fires again similar to a shotgun but can freeze enemies. We combine this with the support gem Pierce so that you can now freeze multiple enemies from one shot of Permafrost Bolts. Now for the first 10 levels or so using Permafrost Bolts with Pierce and then once the enemies are frozen using armor fragmentation rounds to shatter them becomes a powerful combo. You can also add the Glaciation support gem to Permafrost Bolts to freeze enemies a lot faster. The next skill you want to unlock is Explosive Grenade, which fires out a bouncing grenade which detonates after a short duration of time. For the early levels, you quickly want to attach Scatter Shot to this grenade, so you can now fire out three grenades instead of one when you use it. This quickly becomes our main form of AoE damage for the majority of the early levels. We freeze and slow enemies with permafrost bolts, and then we use Explosive Grenade to blow them up. The second support gem you want to add on to Explosive Grenades is Second Wind. This will double the number of charges from 3 to 6 for Explosive Grenade. The recharge time for each grenade to come back does go up, but that doesn't matter too much because 6 grenades each firing 3 shots because of Scatter Shot should wipe out most of the battlefield. This later becomes 8 charges with our passive tree and we also lower this recovery time anyways within the passive tree as well. The next skill you want to unlock with your first level 3 gem is high velocity rounds. This is going to be our main single target DPS ability. We now take our scatter shot support gem from explosive grenade and place it here so we can now fire 3 shots at once. And then we also add on the support gem double barrel which will load a second shot every time we reload. This is a monster combo for pretty much all the Act 1 bosses. At this point I stopped using armor fragmentation rounds as high velocity rounds was more useful for single targets and my grenades were better for AoE. The other level 3 skill you do want to unlock is Flash Grenade which adds even more grenades into the mix. These grenades blind enemies which reduces their accuracy and it also stuns them which is useful for bossing. Now once we pick up the cluster bombs node in our passive tree the fuse timer for explosive grenades does become quite large and some people don't like that and just tend to use flash grenades instead. Honestly, I kept both on my toolbar, you just have to learn to kite enemies in a circle for a little bit longer. Now at around level 15, you should get your first level 5 gem. Unlock Galvanic Shards. This will replace Permafrost Bolts because at around this stage, Permafrost starts to feel a bit weaker, and this is where people actually start to struggle a little bit. Put the Pierce Support Gem from Permafrost straight into Galvanic Shards, now using your grenades alongside Galvanic becomes your main AoE method. I also recommend adding in the Lightning Infusion Support Gem to Galvanic Shards so you get more lightning damage from it. The other level 5 gem you want to pick up is Gas Grenade which adds a damage over time element on top which is useful for both maps and bossing. I haven't got around to doing this myself but you can add the Corrosion Support Gem to Gas Grenade which will be useful for breaking a boss's armor with just a single grenade. This method is way way better and quicker than using armor piercing rounds on bosses because we don't want to stop using high velocity rounds for DPS. At around this time you should also get your first buff gem, get the Herald of Ashes gem which adds even more AoE into the build. What Herald of Ashes does is it causes even more fire explosions when you kill an enemy which can spread a fire damage over time effect. I added the magnified effect support gem to this so that the explosions become even larger. So near the end of act 1 you should be using all of your grenades, gas, flash and explosive, and then high velocity rounds for single targets or galvanic shards for AoE. Next let's go over the passive skill tree. The main aim here was to make my grenades more potent 
and then I'll talk a little bit about where I'm heading. So starting off, we pick up these nodes here, which cause more projectile damage. Then you want to go down here and pick up these cooldown recovery rate nodes, which improve the time it takes to get each charge of your grenade back. Then you want to go down here, and I picked up an int node when I was experimenting with gems earlier, but you can make all of these nodes dexterity. Come round here and pick up these grenade nodes which improve damage, area of effect, and then add another projectile for each of your grenades. We usually get the cluster bomb node around the time we move the scatter shop node from our explosive grenades to high velocity rounds, so we don't feel the loss of firing three grenades at once too much. Then go across until you get the grenadier node. Then I came down here to pick up the adrenaline rush node. I'm planning to keep going across and aim for the instant reload node because I find the reload times to be quite jarring in the initial gameplay for Mercenary. Some people find going for instant reload to be better than the grenade nodes first. It's down to personal preference, I just wanted the big explosions earlier for personal satisfaction. And then you also want to go for volatile grenades here to lower our fuse duration, which is good because we increased it earlier so we do want to bring it back down. Eventually, my plan is to come down here and aim to get the full salvo node, which gives us 25% increased damage for each type of ammunition fired in the past 10 seconds, which is pretty spicy. I'm also going to come here to the left and get the incendiary and smoke inhalation nodes, because remember, explosive grenades applies 80% of damage as fire and can ignite enemies. Moving on to our gear. As it's a leveling build, there's no real gear requirements. That would be quite harsh. For your weapons, look out for plus one or even plus two to all ranks of projectile skills, which applies to all of our ammunition and our grenades. For armor, look for life, maximum mana, mana regeneration, and resistances. So there you have it, my starter mercenary build that will have you zooming through acts one to two with ease. If you enjoyed what I talked about today, remember to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Path of Exile builds as we get deeper into early access. I'm Mr. Ronit, and that's it for today. Peace out, guys.